All praises is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. I give him all the praises. I reverence him in every way possible. For he is the Lord of not only this world, but all of the worlds. And he entrusted me to be the ruler of the Arabs and to raise up an end time army, to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel. I give Allah all the praises for making me this person. He is so worthy. I worship him with no partners. And I encourage you to do the same. Now let's talk about women. Let's talk about women. According to the Apocrypha, women are wicked. According to the Bible, we have some very evil women Bible characters, just like men, okay? But we do have scriptures that say out of a thousand men, one man may be found righteous. But out of a woman, Solomon said, he never found. No, not one. Okay. And the women of today are a blessing from the creator. No doubt. We have to give Allah all the praises for women. And we do that. We give honor in all due places as well. The angels. We thank Allah for the angels. We want to make sure everything is covered. That way I can deliver this message accurate, accurately. I'm just being funny. That way I can deliver this message accurately. Okay. And now that we have we have established that. Um, women are a blessing. And women need to be trained. And I think the best way to train a woman. Is when she's younger. There's a saying. That old dogs cannot learn new tricks. When they didn't had babies, and they didn't been on their own, their minds are in survival mode. That's where their minds are in survival mode, and so. A woman growing to become a woman, starting off young, that's the best way to get them. Okay? That way they can be a student. And they can learn. Women have been getting off easy. They have because of the teachings of Paul. Paul tells us that a man can only have one woman. Jesus tells us he did never come to alter or destroy the law of Moses. But here we have Paul giving us commandments that he says is from God. On a man having only one woman. Now I know this is not true. Simply because there is a man by the name of Agog. And there was a man by Saul. Same name as the Saul of the New Testament. Was supposed to kill. And he did not kill him. He saved this man alive. 
And he saved the choice sheep to sacrifice to the Lord. Instead of doing exactly what the Lord told him to do. The Lord told him to kill off all of them. Kill them all. Women. Babies. Kill off all the Edomites. Kill off Agog. But no, he saves Agog and keeps him alive. He kills some of them. Saves some of the choice animals to do sacrifice. And this is a picture of Christianity because Christianity thinks God likes um, sacrifice, especially the sacrifice, the so-called sacrifice of Jesus. And Paul is the same person in the New Testament who tells us about Jesus' death and him rising more than anybody, including the disciples who were originally with Jesus. Okay? And his name is Saul. So the Saul of the Old Testament is the Saul of the New Testament. Okay? They're metaphors. Okay? The king today is who? Who is the king? I'll give you the answer. The king is Saul. The king is Paul. The strongest military we have today, y'all, is America. And they believe in the teachings of Paul, which has taught us women and us men to think it's okay with just wanting one woman. And so, therefore, women are childless. And that was the problem we had going on in Saul's day. A God made many women childless. And who is A God? That's nothing but Paul. That's nothing but Saul. His teachings have taught us to make many women childless. A God sword did it in his day. And Paul's teachings did it in this day because a sword is a word. That's why you can spell word inside of sword. Okay. I have the truth right here. And a lot of people don't realize that a man was lonely. And so therefore, a woman was made for him. But we live in a day where the man is made for the woman. I'm going to say this again. Man was lonely. So Allah created him a partner for him. For him, not for her. Not what a girl wants, what a girl needs. Whatever makes me happy sets me free. That's what we deal with today. This is what we're dealing with today. What a girl wants, what a girl needs. Whatever makes her happy. And it all came from Paul. And that's why Paul has a prison in his Hail, named after him in the Arabic tongue, it is Bulas. And what's so crazy about that name is a B, is a P, okay, and a D. Because you can turn them all and make them face the way you want to make them the letter you want. Okay, so inside Bulas, you really can say Paul. You can really spell Paul with an S. And that's exactly where all the Pauls, all the Christians who have a dad because he claimed to be a father. He wanted to be me. This is the reason why I'm here to restart the 12 tribes of Israel. 
One of the main reasons is because of the tribe of Benjamin has to be recreated. All of the gay, all of the wickedness, all of the Pharisees, false teachings came out of that tribe. That was supposed to be exterminated in the days of judges. Okay, so the father is here. Al Mahdi is here. And Al Mahdi is Lamonti. And Lamonti is the Almighty. And the Almighty is the Father. That's how you got to see it. Okay. So we got all of this truth right here. As I just broke it down. I'm breaking it down. Breaking down Exodus 23. And four, which is the end. Allah told me 2034 is the end. And verse five. Of putting gods before gods. The father God would visit earth himself. And. The son would be slaughtered. The son would be put to death. And then the father and the mother would, would be put to death last for everything to restart. And then Allah, by Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will bring forth a stone. Now I love Allah. I love him. I'm not a Christian. I would never say I'm that stone that's going to judge the world if I didn't believe I was. I know I am. That's why Allah's wise. He named me Lamonti because I'm really Al Mati. He had to name me Lamonti because I'm the stone. I'm the priest. I'm who they kiss. I'm who they point to during prayer. That's why prayer stopped because I'm here. We got sin. What are we praying for? We got to take over this world. We got to put the Christians in check. We got to let them, let them know their fate. Okay? I'm here. Prayer stop. A shahada is going up to Al Mahdi. Okay? And I'm bringing a praise and a worship in. Right now is my celebration. Right now I'm chilling. I got to revise the law and complete the Quran. I'm here. Arabian woman, receive your Mahdi. Your husband might not understand it. Your dad might not, might not understand it. Your boyfriend might not understand it. But I'm here. I have the knowledge. And the strength of my ministry is the watch he gave me. He gave me the end time. And it's tattooed on my arm. It's engraved on my left arm. Not my right one. Only tight I have. Tells me I have nine years left, 2034, September 16th. It goes down like the last two witnesses. The last two witnesses will die just like Bonnie and Clyde in 1934, a century before. Okay? It goes down like the Twin Towers in September. It goes down like Rich Homie Quan in September. Oh, it's going down. The last two witnesses, we are here and we have the knowledge. We have the knowledge. We have the knowledge that covers the earth like the water covers the sea. Like the waters cover the sea. That's a lot of knowledge. That's a lot of healing. It is said that the prophet Isa healed the body. It is said that the prophet Isa healed the body. Well, the father is healed. The father is here, al Mahdi, to heal the mind. I'm here to heal the mind. I'm here to heal the mind. Okay. And I got the gear. al Mahdi is here. We need to get that out here. That way you can see if I'm real or if I'm a fraud. That way you can laugh or cry. <laughs> that way you can laugh or cry, baby, because I am Al Mahdi. I am the A-M. Get it? A-M? 
Almaty. A M. Like Texas A M. The A M, like in the morning, stands for Almaty. Why? Because there's going to be morning. Especially morning. According to the book of Amos, I will make it as the morning of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day. Because during al Mahdi reign, the prophet Isa dies. That's why we call it the morning. Okay? We call it the morning. And we're going to kill that sunrise lie. We're going to kill that sunrise lie. The ones who rise first is Ochoa, the son of none, that is the female last witness of Mexico, which will make the new Israel. Her, she will rise. And then not the S-O-N will rise first, but the S-U-N, the bright one. The bright one. Allah has no sons, but I'm his S-U-N. I'm his son that's going to shine. That's why we call it son of son. We had to correct that lie off top. When we started saying son, son, S-O-N, Allah says S-U-N, 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 the bright one. Allah has no sons, but I'm his son that's going to shine. Allah has no sons, but I'm his son that's going to shine. Allah has no sons, but I'm his son that's going to shine. That rhymes. I like that. <laughs> All praises is due to my maker. Uh, wake up early in the morning every day and seek him. Um, I can't just lay there. I seek him. I seek him early. I seek him early. Because he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. And uh, still excited uh, from meeting my friend from yesterday. Uh, she's a picture of the last witness. The numbers. Everything adds up. I've done the math. Um, I'm so grateful. You know. I ought to throw out some ketchup packets. Because y'all need to catch up. Y'all need to catch up and see. That the Quran is not complete until Al Mahdi is here and I am here. Y'all need to wake up and see that the Bible needs to be revised. And I am the man to do that. This is seen in the book of Eli. Allah loved me so much. And I'm not a movie person. I'm really not a movie person. Trust me. My house will tell you I'm not a movie person. I'm not. And they would tell me all the time, you look like Denzel. Y'all look like father and son. There you go. Every time they play the movie, they will be playing all the movies of my ministry. <laughs> and he loved me so much. He gave me a movie with detailed information of my ministry. And it is to revise the law. He had to let me see it like that. That way I had the faith. And I had the faith now. I have the faith. I even have faith to believe I'm here to complete the Quran. And I know that I have an Arabian army. And the sword is not going to be, you know what I mean, sitting there, um, clean okay cursed be the man that keep back his sword from shedding blood and i know if i'm going to complete the quran then i know that's going to be some arabians that's going to die because people is going to fight they're going to fight all praises is due to allah the lord of the worlds i give him all the praises when I look back over my life, it could have been over for me because nobody could help me. You couldn't help me. There was not one single person on this planet that could have said, hey, brother, I'm subscribed to you. You know, 
I don't agree with everything you say, but I think you might be Al Maddy. I think you need to look that up. There was not one single person that could do something like that or say something like that. Allah had to personally let me know. Not through an angel, not through. He had to personally let me know who I am. And he did it through memory. Because I was the main source of my faith, my memory. Looking back, mama died, daddy died, mama named um, me Daekwon. Mama put a watch on the wall. Before mama died, she married a man by the name of Al. Bert. Which is in my son's mom last name. Lamb. Lambert. Okay. The lamb. Al Maddy is really the lamb. Of Isaiah 53. Okay. And. These Muslims have no clue. The church has no clue. And so. With this information. This revelation. I received of him. I understand. I understand. And there's still more stuff to know. But not one single soul could have helped me. And that's when Allah revealed to me that if I wasn't here, judgment would have took place. He gave me nine years and he's going to show me off within these nine years. And I'm going to do the job of al Madi mentioned in the Hadith. All of them. I got nine years to do this and I have a watch and I have the day of the end and I'm not alone. I have a witness with me and she's a female. Okay. Mexican. So that's why I constantly give praises to Allah. I can't even lay down and sleep. <laughs> okay. It's eight in the morning. Eight thirty three. And I'm giving him praises because he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of all of it. He's worthy of all of the glory, all of the honor. Okay. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters who will be in this new truth. This exhortation is going to be spontaneous now. Because I'm doing the Al Maddy sermon weekly that I'm going to pump on all of my channel, all of my channels. OK, my kids got channels with my messages on them. My wife got her channels, like three of them with my messages on them. And then I have about uh, five six channels pumping this truth okay all right we're gonna get this truth out here okay we're gonna get this truth out here and you can't stop it okay because i got money to spend i gotta raise i got money to spend on promotion and promotion and promotion That's, i'm gonna do what i gotta do and Allah's going to do what he's going to do. And this thing is going to be fulfilled prophecy. Assalamu alaikum.